Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. As I have begun trolling around for really cool programs to run on my Macs, yes, I have more than one Mac in this house. I now have one, two, three, I think four at this point. The Mac Mini, which of course the live video and audio stream goes out through. Uh, the MacBook Pro, sponsored by Blue Sky Factory. And then uh, the 15 inch MacBook Pro that was sponsored by Legit, L I J I T. In fact, go into the chat room, you type in what is Mac? Oh, there you go, thank you. Someone did. <laughs> Someone did even before I even had ask. Uh, but anyway, so I have a lot of Macs in the house. Almost. Wow, I have more Macs in this house than I do PCs. Oh god. Wait, one, two, three. I have one, two, three. Three P. <laughs> oh boy, that was a. That was kind of a sad realization there. Anyway, um, oh god, uh, <laughs> oh god, oh Jesus, oh, what's happening? Help me, help me! Um, I ran into uh, <laughs> a website, an application called App Fresh. Now, App Fresh is a program, a utility that runs on OS X. That's Apple's operating system, Mac OS X for the Mac. Uh, and what App Fresh does is it scans your applications directory or your computer, uh, m largely the applications directory where most of the programs are installed or, or put into. Of course, it does go beyond that. But it scans that and then looks at a website and then checks to see if you have the latest versions of that software on your computer installed. And if you don't, then it'll download the latest update for that program. Now, the cool thing about this particular program, AppFresh, is number one, it's free. And number two, it relies on a website called IUseThis.com. And IUseThis uh, is a site that you can go to as a Mac user and say, I use this program, I use this program, I use this program. And then when you send that data out into the cloud, into the internet, um, more people can see what programs are really truly popular, uh, the programs that more people are using, that more people are updating, et cetera, et cetera. Well, AppFresh was just, it was candy. It was just like, wow, this is unbelievable. It even told me uh, some of my dashboard widgets that were up to date, uh, the regular programs. I mean, it just told me everything that was on my system that it knew about that was up to date. Now, the only other version of, uh, of a product that I'd ever seen that does something like that would be, well, I'm sorry, version tracker. I kind of let it slip there. Uh, but unfortunately, or fortunately, it's that's not free. And version tracker, by the way, was recently acquired by CNET, so maybe they'll open it up at some point. CNET had a tool kind of like this at one point, but they abandoned it uh, for Windows because it was just unwieldy. And it just, it, I, I, when I tried it, it, it simply didn't work. And when I threw it out there, I said, hey, check out this app fresh thing. I Twittered it. Um, I said, you know, I bet you Windows users would just die to use this. And then a couple people sent me links to Windows equivalents of AppFresh. And one of them is a product that's currently in beta. If It's called, uh, well, let's see here, psi.secunia.com. Uh, and it's this, and if I'm mispronouncing Secunia, Sequenia, S-E-C-U-N-I-A, <laughs> Sequenia, personal software inspector, psi.sequenia.com, in beta. This program will scan your computer uh, and free of charge, they say, and then tell you what software you have and, and then uh, tell you if it's up to date or not. And then, of course, uh, most likely uh, being able to connect you with direct download links to the, the new versions that are available. This is long overdue for Windows or Mac. I mean, it's just managing updates for software uh, is a tremendous task especially with as much software that's out there. Uh, so Sequenia has been a longtime supporter of uh, having a secure environment, and so this kind of falls in line with their whole ethos and that they're letting this out to consumers. They say detects and advises on more than 4,200 applications, most likely the top 4,200 applications, that some, most of which you probably already have installed. So that was suggested for me uh, to me for Windows, but I was much more impressed with, and this is that I know of only for Windows, file hippo.com uh, again completely free and what this little program will do like it has no user interface at all which I love you double click the icon it scans your computer and it sees these are the programs you have installed and these are the updates that are available for the programs that you have installed and it 
pulls it into a web page, and on the web page, you've got the icon of the application and the name of the application and the version that's new and the version that you have installed, so you can decide whether or not you want to install it or you need to install it. And, and when I was looking at it, I was just like, wow. I was like, no, I already have the latest version of this installed. And then I looked, and I was like, oh my god. It's right. I don't have the latest version installed. I need to install the latest version. This is crazy. So, uh, I mean, I can see here I've got an old version of Windows Live Messenger installed. It shows you how often I use Windows Live Messenger. I use Miranda, by and large, to manage my instant messaging. And in fact, it says there's a new version in installed now, or that that or that can be installed. There's an update available, but it tells me it's an update for an older version. I'm actually using the 0 0.7.0 preview uh, uh, edition that's hopefully going to be released as final relatively soon. Miranda, I believe, is open source, and I still like it. It's the best instant messaging app. I run a Rendezvous, or uh, also, well, it's not really known as Rendezvous anymore, Bonjour, uh, on Windows, so I can connect to anybody on the Bonjour network uh, through IM. AOL, ICQ, IRC, Jabber, or Google Talk, uh, MSN, I also have a Skype hook into it, and Yahoo. So that's eight different possible instant messaging networks in one application. So I, it's all nice and neat and organized right there on my desktop. Uh, I like Miranda. I love Miranda. I think the equivalent on uh, OS X for Miranda would be Adium, although I don't know if Adium does it all. I don't think it does uh, Skype. Uh, but I think it does uh, just about everything else. So anyway, so there's three different products that will help keep your programs up to date beyond the regular old uh, software update on uh, OS X or the Windows update, of course, on Windows. If you know of any better programs that'll do something just as good, make the suggestion. Always interested in knowing whether or not I have the latest uh, updates in, installed for at least the software that I use on a regular basis. What about you? Or do you just kind of leave at uh, everything where it's at you don't install any updates which is not advised uh, but uh, you know how do you manage all those software updates if you manage them at all leave a comment suggestion follow up whatever uh, I am interested I, I don't mean to be flipped there uh, I am interested in, in what you're thinking and what you have to say and what you have to offer back to the community and if you'd like to become a part of our community at large just participate in some way even if you're leaving a comment or you, you send me an email chris at perillo.com I, I, I love taking the feedback I love hearing where you guys are, are tuning in from of course you're also welcome to swing by the chat room anytime day or night we're talking live at, well, of all places, live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.